Affliction, Salem, 1692. Fenny Rob over here, Evil Jeff over here. This is a game about the Salem witch trials, pretty much. And you're gonna have cards that you're going to be trying to either bring into your circle, which is good. You wanna bring them into your family protection. Think uh, Puritan mob. And then over here, you're gonna <laughs> want to arrest people, which I'm not sure anyone really got out of jail, but you're going to arrest them and you're gonna get points for having cards in your tableau. Every card you bring in is going to bring you one point. Now, I am Salem Village and Evil Jeff is the dirty Salem town. There are four factions in the game. It's a four, two to four player game. There are two village, two town. In a two player game, which we're playing, you have to basically use the yellow and the red and you're gonna have three of these Puritan meeples. And in a two player game, you get three, but in a three and four player game, you get only two to use. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is there are certain people I want to arrest. They're gonna bring me an extra two points. So I wanna get cards that have a red border at the top. Jeff wants to get green cards arrested. For every card he gets arrested, he will get an extra two points on top of the one point you get for just arresting everybody. Then there are some schlubs, just your plain old colonists in here, and I'll show you why they're not out yet because we're not done setting up. Now, you're also going to want to get the opposite ones in your circle. So while Jeff wants to arrest all of the greens, which are putnams, the Putnam's. Putnam family. He would like to get Proctors into his circle. So the opposite of me. Right. Proctors are my friend and you want to arrest the Proctors. Now we also have these grievance cards. I haven't even looked at mine, but there's going to be three people in town you just cannot stand even more on top of the paranoia. And you're going to get an extra two points if you can get them arrested. And then there's going to be someone who's a uh, ally of yours that you really like that you're going to try to make sure makes it does not get arrested and you'll get extra two points for that. And that doesn't mean you have to bring them in your circle. It just means they didn't get arrested by someone. Now, the currency of the game is influence. You're basically throwing your influence around either to accuse people, get them arrested or bring them into your circle. So there's no money in the game, but this is the currency of the game. And there are ways that you can acquire that either from the board or off of cards. To finish the setup of the game though, and this will show how the game ends, there are two characters, Increase Mather and Mary Spencer Hull, that will be shuffled into the uh, six cards of the plain old colonist deck. There is a prominent colonist deck, which is these red ones, and then there's the blue regular colonists, which is a bit thicker. The red colonists will go up on the top row, four across, and the plain old colonists will go on the bottom row. But we're going to shuffle these two into six of the cards because the game will end when one of these two cards comes out. So as soon as that card becomes drawn and to be placed, the game will immediately end. You won't even take any more turns. So you'll know when it's getting thin. So we're just gonna shuffle these. All right. A couple times. I agree they have been shuffled sufficiently. All right. Unless they cause me to lose the game. And then we place the main deck that right. has been shuffled on top. All right, so those will probably be mostly off screen for you, but just know that we're going to fill the top row. You can put them up here. We're going to fill the top row with the red cards until they run out. And the bottom row is going to be filled with the blue cards. Once the red cards run out, every row will be filled with the regular ones. So let's see, who do we get? John Ald Alden and Mercy. Mercy Lewis and Reverend Samuel Paris and Mary Esty. All right. Now, we also have our starting colonist that we were given two and we kept one. Mine is the Reverend Diodat Lawson. 
This is the same one I had when we played off camera. Hmm. And uh, who do you have, Bridget? I have Bridget uh, Bishop, and um, her, I, I did not have her, and uh, she can move one accusation from one person to another person when we activate that uh, feature of the game. All right, so when you see the colonist cards, up here is the number of influence that it would require either to arrest them or to bring them into your circle. This indicates that whenever income is gotten, which is these with the arrow up, this card, any of these symbols in your tableau will give you income. Then on the side, you'll see either a house or not a house. Some colonists have houses. Those are irrelevant except for when they become arrested, whoever arrested them will get an extra point for basically confiscating their personals. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they're they won't be needing their house or houses any longer. No, they'll need they'll probably need a water hose to cool themselves off, but otherwise uh they're <laughs> useless. So when these go into the arrested pile, those will give you an extra point. So one point per arrested card, two points if they're the faction or the person you really want to get, and an additional one point for each house symbol on arrests. Those don't matter in the circle. And you'll see the concept. Basically what you have to do is you have to put an accusation. You have to, you have to point your finger at someone and say, I think that person's a witch. And they're going to get these tokens put on them. And you're going to need to have the, at least one on there usually to arrest someone. And each of these reduces the number of influence required. So if you cast dispersions upon someone so badly, you may spend nothing to arrest them. No influence. You just basically, they're in an alley in the back, uh, in the yeah. back of the tavern and they get hauled off to jail. But you had nothing to do with it. So many people have accused them that uh, it's real simple to... You don't even have to be an influential person to, to get them arrested. And the basic mechanic of the game is we're going to take turns putting out our meeples. And then we're going to resolve them once they've all been placed in this snake-like order. And as you pull off your piece, you will do the thing that's on the board. Yeah, the last thing that I would just throw out there um, for, the, for the people in the audience uh, watching is that... The circle side of your tableau is sort of an engine-driven mechanism. You're, you're getting benefits when you activate those cards when you place your uh, Puritan on one of these particular areas, like this or this. The, yeah. the hammers and, and are on some of the cards, like for instance like his. This one here has a hammer right here, so that, that act action would be activated once he pulls off one of his pieces from one of these two spaces. For everybody that's in my circle that has that. So just as you're watching, as we build out the circle side, this is our kind of the engine side of benefits that we get that help us do what we want to do to, to win. The arrested side is really, once they're arrested, it's all just points. So these are just points and this is an engine over here. Good point. Well, that's about it for our explanation of the rules. So before we start the game that you're going to watch, why don't you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel.